Hello, my name is Russell Brown from Adobe Systems. And in this presentation, I'm going to be talking about some great new features that have been added to the current version of the Adobe Touch apps. And in this case, it's the 1.0.2 version of these apps. And of course, you can download them from the Apple iTunes Store. Let's get going. I want to show you this great new feature that allows you to access the camera that's built into your iPad 2. I'm going to click on Adobe Nav right here. As you can see, my icons for my tools all light up. That means I have a good connection between Photoshop and this version of Adobe Nav. I also notice that it says connected in the lower right hand corner. Let's get going. These of course are the tools that I can select directly right here. But the feature I want to talk about is directly related to the camera and your gallery. I'm going to click here right on this icon to reveal my gallery here in Adobe Nav. Notice that I have one image open. And if I switch over to Photoshop right now, you can see that I have the corresponding image open here in Photoshop. So the Photoshop application is sharing all of its photos with the iPad. OK, down here in the lower left hand corner, I'm going to click on New. This, of course, is the new feature to take a photo right here. Clicking on Take a Photo, my camera is activated here on my iPad 2. Notice that I have this fine, good looking pirate, which just happens to be posing for me here today, and I can move it around into any position. I'm now going to click on the camera icon, take a shot, then use that shot by clicking on Use. Check this out. An image appears here on the iPad, and it's been transmitted over here to Photoshop, the exact same image. I can go back in, click on New, take another photo, reposition the pirate, take the shot, use the shot, and I can go through and take a series of images. Let's take one more. Clicking on each of these corresponding buttons, and I have one more shot there. OK. Now what I can do is actually click on the images directly here on the iPad, and it will then switch to the image over here in Photoshop just by clicking on it. Here's the other new feature I want to show you. I'm going to zoom in on one of these images by clicking and dragging with two fingers out in a pinching motion. I can then zoom in the first time, and once again, pinching outward, zooming in to the full and largest preview available here in Adobe Nav. And of course, I can slide between the images by sliding my finger left or right here on the screen. But the great new feature is right here. If I click and hold on any of the images in their current full-sized view, I can then click on Copy or Save Image. By selecting Save Image, it will save the image directly to my iPad as a permanent image in my gallery of images. That is really fantastic. Let's zoom back out. Double clicking on the image will make it drop down in size and pinching down brings me back to my complete gallery. But wait, there's more. If I click over here on Color Lava, right here, you can see that I can also import photographs directly into Color Lava and use them as I mix colors with the colors from an exact photograph. So take a photograph of any texture or pattern, or in this case, this good looking pirate, and you can then use the colors in that photograph directly here by clicking on this icon, taking a photo, you can then bring that image in and use that image directly as part of your Color Lava workflow. There you have it, a couple great new features that have been added to the Adobe Touch apps here for the iPad 2. And of course, Photoshop 12.0.4. Give them a try. 